So today I thought it would be fun to give a short little tutorial on how I make my Sashiko Stars quilt. First, cut up your fat eighths or your fat quarters. Then we're going to make some half square triangle blocks. Draw your line, sew on either side. Then I don't like these little dog ear corners, so I always trim them out. So I just take a little quarter inch square out of each corner and then cut it on the drawn line like you normally would. You can use a scissor or a rotary cutter for this part. Then you'll get two blocks out of each square and you can see those little dog ears are missing. Then we're gonna do some folded corners. Make sure you make one and one reverse. Then we're gonna take these bias triangles and this cream rectangle and we're gonna mark the centers. Then we're going to align them, put them right sides together. And then you're gonna sew this seam, keeping that bias triangle on the bottom so it does not stretch out while you sew. Repeat on the other side. Then we've got two more little triangles that are gonna make up the other two corners. So again, lay right sides together, center, and sew, keeping that bias triangle to the bottom. There you can see I've sewn it. Then again, we're gonna trim these little dog ears. There's no trick for this part. You just have to take the time to do it so you don't have any bulk in your corners. Then you're gonna press like so. Then we're gonna lay a big square that we've drawn a diagonal line. We're gonna lay it right sides together um, making sure we have it going the right direction. So a quarter of an inch away from either side of that line. Now you can see I've sewn that. Then you're gonna have a block on this side and a block on this side. Go ahead and cut those apart and do your pressing. Then taking those blocks that we've already made, we're gonna sew them into a little block that'll look like this. So you'll sew here and here and then all the way across the block. Now you're gonna make two of those and then you're gonna lay them together with some plain squares, like so. Then you'll sew those two short seams, push those together and then sew across. And that is your finished block. Not so pretty on its own, but the magic happens when you put those blocks together and it forms the pretty star in the middle. Then you can make as many blocks as you want for whatever size you're making and it makes this quilt. The sample blocks I made were using my Gingham Cottage fabric line and the front cover of the pattern shows my Market Street fabric line, both from Riley Blake.